Hey, I'm David, and in this episode of Technology and Education, I'm going to look at assignments in Microsoft Teams from a student point of view. So I hope you enjoy it, and we'll cover all the basics, all you need to know for assignments. I've just clicked on the assignments tab, and fun fact, it looks like a little backpack there that took me about three months to work that one out, but anyway. And you can see here in upcoming, I have four assignments that have been given to me by different teachers, and I've completed two of them. So that's good to know. So let's go ahead and click on Assigned. Right, so I've actually missed two of these. Oopsie, I better ask for some forgiveness here. And I, forgive uh, I still have two that are upcoming. So let's have a look at this bottom one. Uh, you can see it's a science task. And I've got the title right here, so Simulation and Notes. Uh, the science class is day one, block one. And it's also got the due date, which is quite late at night, but that's quite good to know when it is due. So I'm just going to click that one. And there's just further instructions here. So download and complete the simulation notes, rename the document, upload to MS Teams in assignments. Right, okay, so there's some reference materials here too, but it looks like I'm going to have to upload a document. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the reference one. Oh, that's good because it opens it up inside Teams, not outside. Okay, so I'm just going to close that after reading it. And then once I've obviously processed all the information for the lesson, then I need to hand it in. Now just be wary of this button. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that, even though I haven't actually put anything into this uh, assignment. I'm just going to click hand in, and it will do it automatically, whether or not you have anything in there. Okay, so I'm going to click undo. And this time I'm going to click add work. Okay, so this is pretty cool because you've got quite a few features here. Okay. If you have anything in your OneDrive, you can just share it directly from that. Now, I'm actually using uh, Friday the Cat. I'm using his student account, so he doesn't have any files in there, but I'm sure you will. You can also select new file, which is quite interesting. Whenever really? you click on one of these, so I click on Word document, so I'll put in test doc, it actually creates a new document for you. And if I select it here, and you can just work directly from inside Teams. So that's quite, that's quite good to know. I'm just going to go back to assignments. And back to the one I was working on. So you can see that's in there. So if you want to edit that, you can also edit it uh, in Word on your desktop or Word online. So what else have we got in here? Uh, we've also got da -da -da, PowerPoint presentation and Excel spreadsheets. Again, it works very similar to Word document in that you can work offline, online, or in Teams. We've also got links. So if you've, say, I don't know, uploaded a video to YouTube on your own YouTube channel, you can then copy and paste that uh, web address in there. And you've also got uh, things that you can link from Teams. So if I select the science class, now I don't have anything in here, like I can actually as a student upload files to a team, but I don't have anything in there, so I'm not going to be able to upload anything from Teams. And finally, we have upload from this device. So just choose your assignment document from your desktop and upload. Okay, and once it's uploaded, just click done and then click hand in. Okay, now there was one other thing there in assignments I wanted to look at, which is the completed. So if I click on completed, see the three assignments that I've actually submitted, and you've got a tick here, which signifies you've done it. And if we want to have a look at what I submitted before, because I've got short-term memory loss. Um, could you repeat uh, that? Have a look in there, and you can see that my work is done. And that covers everything you need to know about uploading work to assignments, and I hope that you find this useful. Thanks for watching.